What's up, Audi Universe? Today, we have not just another episode for you. We have a show full of highlights. New Audi models that you're all gonna love. Because we have not just one, but two world premieres. The first one was unveiled just yesterday. The brand new Q4 Sportback e-tron concept. But there is even a second new Q in the family, the updated Q5. Welcome to QTube. This is What's Up Audi. Guys, I'm going to name you three features that I'm pretty sure you love about Audis. The Q model SUVs, the e-tron and sport bags. Well, there is good news for you because just hours ago, Audi unveiled a model that features all these aspects. The brand new Q4 Sportback e-tron concept. And as always, here at What's Up Audi, we have the exclusive first look for you guys. This is the Audi Q4 Sportback e-tron concept. It's a Q, it's a Sportback. It's an e-tron. From 100 meters away, you can clearly see it's an electric Audi. The inverted face. An electric car needs less air. So we were able to close our famous single frame. We covered it and brightened it up and put it into a black mask. It's a Q model. We have big wheels, short overhangs, and strong quattro muscles on top of all four wheels. The slim cabin sitting on the wide shoulders, the sport back roof line, and the position of the spoiler. This is not just looking very, very sporty. It helps to reduce the drag coefficient. The interior fits perfectly to the sporty exterior. Bold 3D applications, augmented head-up display. It's heavily driver-oriented. And so this car combines in a perfect way nice aesthetics with efficiency. I'm really looking forward to see this car on the road. I know what you may be thinking right now, guys. Oh, these concepts, are just some science fiction. We're never gonna get to see this model anyway. But I got my sources and I can tell you that this car is going to hit the markets in the summer of 2021. And what do you guys think? Should we bring it here on the show? Because I would love to drive it. In the beginning, I was kind of mm, skeptical about EVs, but I have changed my mind ever since I drove the e-tron. My God, completely different driving experience, lower central point of gravity because the battery is in the floor, constant torque, but it's not just that. It also offers lots of more opportunities for design. Audi is design. It always has been. It always will be. We all know the future is electric. But what does that mean for design? Nothing less than a new approach to design thinking. Audi design is turning into Audi e-design. The center of the car is moving from the engine to the battery a lower center of gravity, visually stressed. The front grille is now inverted as the car needs less cooling. The powertrain is gone, so the interior space is getting bigger. Audi e-design means freedom to shape the future and to create the cars of tomorrow. When I heard about the updated Q5, I was very curious. <laughs> no. And I must say, it looks sharper than ever before. See for yourself. I'm not a typical SUV guy, but this one gets even me excited. My personal highlight are the new digital OLED headlights. And you know what's really cool about it? It's not only brand new technology, it's also for the very first time that you can choose out of three different coming home and leaving home options. Have a look for yourself. 
For the Audi Q5 in new design, customers can order the next generation of OLED lighting technology. The red daylight offers a choice of three different signatures. Regardless of which signature was ordered, the customer has the option to switch the rear lights in the Audi Drive Select Dynamic Mode to a different sporty graphic. Another highlight is a warning function. If another vehicle approaches the Q5 from behind, the entire red area is illuminated. That's it for today's World Premiere episode. I'm saying goodbye. Let us know in the comments what you think of the future of EV design. But last but not least, here's a YouTube check. Ich bin sehr positiv. Die Zukunft. Ja, ich finde es sehr gut. Ich freue mich, dass ich auch hoffentlich bald ein E-Tron fahre. Hey everybody, so today I'm inside the Audi e-tron. Now, this review is going to be very different because this is a range test. Super excited because I just hit over the 204 EPA. I'm not going to tell you guys what I hit just yet. We are here at Bazarzate at the Nord Project, the world's largest solar plant. So the idea is to maximize solar light. So solar hits the mirror. Yes. Goes to the center, center tube, the center. heats up the oil. And then we, we transfer all this synthetic oil to the, to the power block. In the power block, we have systems to generate steam. And then we use steam to generate electricity. Yes.